The Tibetan alphabet is an abugida used to write the Tibetic languages such as Tibetan, as well as Zonka, Sikkimese, Ladakhi, and sometimes Balti. The printed form of the alphabet is called Uchen script while the handwritten cursive form used in everyday writing is called Yum script. The alphabet is very closely linked to a broad ethnic Tibetan identity, spanning across areas in Tibet, Bhutan, India, Nepal. The Tibetan alphabet is of Indic origin and it is ancestral to the Limba alphabet, the Lepcha alphabet, and the multilingual Fags Pa script. History The creation of the Tibetan alphabet is attributed to Thanmi Samboda of the mid-7th century. Tradition holds that Thanmi Samboda, a minister of Songtsen Gampo, 569-649, was sent to India to study the art of writing, and upon his return introduced the alphabet. The form of the letters is based on an Indic alphabet of that period, three orthographic standardizations were developed. The most important, an official orthography aimed to facilitate the translation of Buddhist scriptures, emerged during the early 9th century. Standard orthography has not altered since then, while the spoken language has changed by, for example, losing complex consonant clusters. As a result, in all modern Tibetan dialects, in particular in the standard Tibetan of Lhasa, there is a great divergence between current spelling, which still reflects the 9th century spoken Tibetan, and current pronunciation. This divergence is the basis of an argument in favor of spelling reform, to write Tibetan as it is pronounced, for example, writing Kagyu instead of Bka -d. In contrast, the pronunciation of the Balti, Ladakhi and Burig languages adheres more closely to the archaic spelling. Description Basic alphabet in the Tibetan script, the syllables are written from left to right. Syllables are separated by a tsek, since many Tibetan words are monosyllabic, this mark often functions almost as a space. Spaces are not used to divide words. The Tibetan alphabet has 30 basic letters, sometimes known as radicals, for consonants. As in other Indic scripts, each consonant letter assumes an inherent vowel. In the Tibetan script it is a. Uh, the alphabet, A, is also the base for dependent vowel marks. Although some Tibetan dialects are tonal, the language had no tone at the time of the script's invention, and there are no dedicated symbols for tone. However, since tones developed from segmental features they can usually be correctly predicted by the archaic spelling of Tibetan words. Consonant clusters the unique aspect of the Tibetan script is that the consonants can be written either as radicals, or they can be written in other forms, such as subscript and superscript forming consonant clusters. To understand how this works, one can look at the radical, ka, and see what happens when it becomes, kra, or, rka. In both cases, the symbol for, ka, is used, but when the, ra, is in the middle of the consonant and vowel, it is added as a subscript. On the other hand, when the ra comes before the consonant and vowel, it is added as a superscript. Ra actually changes form when it is above most other consonants, thus rka. However, an exception to this is the cluster rnya. Similarly, the consonants wa, ra, and ya change form when they are beneath other consonants, thus kwa, kra, kja. Besides being written as subscripts and superscripts, some consonants can also be placed in prescript, postscript, or post-postscript positions. For instance, the consonants k -t 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 -p -t -ma, and a can be used in the prescript position to the left of other radicals, while the position after a radical, the postscript position, can be held by the ten consonants k -t -na, p -t 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 -ma, a, ra, a, sa, and l. The third position, the post-postscript position is solely for the consonants, tia, and, sa. Head letters The superscript position above a radical is reserved for the consonants, ra, pl, and, sa. When, ra, pl, and, sa, are in superscript position with, ka, ta, ta, pa, and, tsa, there are no changes in the sound, they look and sound like, Ka, ta, pa, tsa, ka, ta, ta, pa, ka, ta, ta, pa, tsa, 
when ra, pla, and sa are in superscript position with kapt, tapt, tapt, pia, and ts if they lose their aspiration and sounds change. They look and sound like ga, d, a, da, ba, d, z, a, ga, d, a, da, ba, ga, d, a, da, ba, d, z, a. When ra, pl, and sa are in superscript position with a, a, na, and ma, the nasal sound gets high. They look and sound like pa, pa, na, ma, pa, ma, pa, pa, na, ma. Subjoined letters. The subscript position under a radical is for the consonants ya, ra, pl, and wa. Vowel marks and numerals The vowels used in the alphabet are a, type u, p, and o. While the vowel a is included in each consonant or radical, the other vowels are indicated by marks, thus, ka, ki, ku, k, ko. The vowels i, e, and o are placed above consonants as diacritics, while the vowel u is placed underneath consonants. Old Tibetan included a reversed form of the mark for i, the gigu, verso, of uncertain meaning. There is no distinction between long and short vowels in written Tibetan, except in loanwords, especially transcribed from the Sanskrit. Modifiers Extended use the Tibetan alphabet, when used to write other languages such as Balti and Sanskrit, often has additional and or modified graphemes taken from the basic Tibetan alphabet to represent different sounds. Extended alphabet In Balti, consonants ka, ra are represented by reversing the letters p, ka, ra to give p, ka, ra. In Sanskrit, cerebral consonants. Ta, da, da, na, sa are represented by reversing the letters ta, da, da, na, sha to give ta, da, da, na, sa. In Sanskrit, it is a classic rule to transliterate ca, cha, ya, ja, to tsa, tsha, dza, dzha, respectively. Nowadays, ca, cha, ya, ja can also be used. Extended vowel marks and modifiers Romanization and transliteration Romanization and transliteration of the Tibetan script is the representation of the Tibetan script in the Latin script. There are various ways of Romanization and transliteration systems created in recent years, but fail to represent the true phonetic sound. While the Wiley transliteration system is widely used to Romanize standard Tibetan, others include the Library of Congress system and the IPA-based transliteration Jock 2012. Below is a table with Tibetan letters and different romanization and transliteration system for each letter. Listed below systems are Wiley transliteration W, Tibetan pinyin TP, Zonka phonetic DP, ALA LC romanization A, and THL simplified phonetic transcription THL. Input method and keyboard layout Tibetan the first version of Microsoft Windows to support the Tibetan keyboard layout is MS Windows Vista. The layout has been available in Linux since September 2007. In Ubuntu 12.04, one can install Tibetan language support through dash language support, install, remove languages, the input method can be turned on from dash keyboard layout, adding Tibetan keyboard layout. The layout applies the similar layout as in Microsoft Windows. Mac OS X introduced Tibetan Unicode support with OS X version 10.5 and later, now with three different keyboard layouts available, Tibetan Wiley, Tibetan QWERTY and Tibetan Otani. Zonka The Zonka keyboard layout scheme is designed as a simple means for inputting Zonka text on computers. This keyboard layout was standardized by the Zonka Development Commission DDC, and the Department of Information Technology DIT, of the Royal Government of Bhutan in 2000. It was updated in 2009 to accommodate additional characters added to the Unicode and ISO 10646 standards since the initial version. Since the arrangement of keys essentially follows the usual order of the Zonka and Tibetan alphabet, the layout can be quickly learned by anyone familiar with this alphabet. Subjoined, combining, consonants are entered using the shift key. 
The Zonka DZ keyboard layout is included in Microsoft Windows, Android, and most distributions of Linux as part of XFree 86. Unicode Tibetan was originally one of the scripts in the first version of the Unicode standard in 1991, in the Unicode block U plus 1000 U plus 104F. However, in 1993, in version 1.1, it was removed. The code points it took up would later be used for the Burmese script in version 3.0. The Tibetan script was re-added in July, 1996 with the release of version 2.0. The Unicode block for Tibetan is U plus OFOO U plus OFFF. It includes letters, digits and various punctuation marks and special symbols used in religious texts. See also Tibetan calligraphy Tibetan Braille Zonka Braille Tibetan typefaces Wiley transliteration Tibetan pinyin THDL simplified phonetic transcription ties input method for Tibetan script Limba script notes references Asher, R.E. ed. The Encyclopedia of Language and Linguistics. Terrytown, N.Y., Pergamon Press, 1994. 10 volume Bayer, Stefan B. 1993. The Classical Tibetan Language. Reprinted by Delhi, Sri Saturu. Chamberlain, Bradford Lynn, 2008. Script Selection for Tibetan Related Languages in Multiscriptal Environments. International Journal of the Sociology of Language 192 117 132. See Soma de Koros, Alexander, 1983. A Grammar of the Tibetan Language. Reprinted by Delhi, Sri Saturu. See Soma de Koros, Alexander, 1980-1982. Sanskrit Tibetan English Vocabulary. Two vols. Reprinted by Delhi, Sri Saturu. Daniels, Peter T. and William Bright. The World's Writing Systems. New York, Oxford University Press, 1996. Das, Sarat Chandra, The Sacred and Ornamental Characters of Tibet. Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal, Vol. 57, 1888, pp. 41-48 and 9 plates. Das, Sarachandra, 1996. An Introduction to the Grammar of the Tibetan Language. Reprinted by Delhi, Mudalal Banarsidas. Jacques, Guillaume 2012. A New Transcription System for Old and Classical Tibetan, Linguistics of the Tibeto-Burman Area, 35.3, 89-96. Jashki, Heinrich August, 1989. Tibetan Grammar. Corrected by Sunil Gupta. Reprinted by Delhi, Sri Saturu. External links Tibetan Calligraphy. How to write the Tibetan script. Elements of the Tibetan Writing System. Unicode Area UOFOO UOFFF, Tibetan Script 162 kilobytes, Encoding Model of the Tibetan Script in the UCS Digital Tibetan Tibetan Scripts, Fonts and Related Issues, THDL Articles on Unicode Font Issues, Free Cross-Platform OpenType Fonts, Unicode Compatible. Free Tibetan Fonts Project Ancient Scripts, Tibetan